through this uh, video lecture i would like to explain how to calculate the magnetic field which is produced along the current carrying coil to study the variation of magnetic field with uh, distance along the axis of circular coil uh, where the current is uh, flowing i am going to use this uh, circuit and thereby i am going to measure the magnetic field here the battery is connected with ammeter and this ammeter is uh, connected with a, a commutator and the commutator is connected with the current carrying coil and also it is connected with the rheostat and the battery we have a 12 volt battery with us we have a, a rheostat of ohms uh, 30 with uh, amps of uh, 2.8 we have a commutator and uh, we have a ammeter to measure how much current is flowing through the uh, coil and here we have a circular coil and with a, a magnetic compass i have connected the positive terminal of battery with the positive terminal of ammeter and the ammeter negative terminal is connected with the one end of the commutator the opposite end of the commutator is connected with the rheostat and the lower side of the rheostat is connected with the negative terminal we have two more uh, point on this commutator these two points are connected with the coil here you can uh, uh, this is the common end and if you could connect this other end to the uh, this point in the sense uh, the number of turns is 5 and if you connected here in the sense the number of turns is 20 and if you connected here in the sense the number of turns is 50 after connecting all this wire we have to do some adjustment on the uh, compass now i have placed the compass uh, inside this uh, coil and uh, here you can see the uh, you can see the uh, readings so you can rotate this uh, compass if now the 90 is here and the opposite side 90 is here which means that the compass is rotated till 1990 lines becomes parallel to the plane of the coil now after placing the uh, compass now i am going to rotate the board i am going to rotate this board if i rotate the board in the sense the aluminum needle position gets change you can see in the opposite side i am just rotating just rotating until the aluminum needle is pointed zero now the aluminum needle is actually pointed uh, uh, zero now i am going to switch on the uh, battery and by adjusting this uh, uh, rheostat i can uh, set how much amount of the current flow is there in the coil that i can vary by adjusting this rheostat now uh, the ammeter says 0.5 amp uh, the current uh, is flowing through this coil when you switch on the battery you can see the deflection there in the compass now the compass is compass is not showing uh, the compass aluminum needle of the compass is not showing uh, zero it is showing approximately 75 uh, now the aluminum needle is in this side now you can change the commutator 
so now i am placing the key on the other side of the uh, commutator you can see there is a deflection there in the aluminum needle let us allow to set in the rest position and now the needle is here earlier it is it, it was here pointed 70 now it is in this side pointed 70 now everything is uh, working uh, fine so you can verify uh, the needle is uh, moving uh, uh, in the opposite side if you could rotate the commutator if so means your circuit is perfectly working now uh, okay sir now you can see a scale here and the compass is exactly set at zero distance at zero distance you can uh, note down this uh, compass position both uh, uh, both the side and you can change the position now i am moving the compass in the right hand side and i'm going to place the compass at uh, at the distance from the coil 5 cm so the position of the aluminum needle gets changed to 60 you can note down the distance and you can note down the angle after that you have to change the position of this commutator switch and you can note down the reading in the opposite side similarly you have to similarly you have to do the experiment for two or uh, three distance in the left hand side as well as by moving the compass to the right hand side so this is the uh, tabulation where uh, you can uh, note down the uh, readings so this is the distance and uh, here uh, you can uh, take the uh, angle in direct as well as in the reverse side this is uh, while uh, moving the compass on the left hand, left side and uh, this is uh, where you can uh, uh, note down the reading while you are moving the compass on the right side board so by taking the distance and the deflection uh, of there in the compass uh, you can uh, calculate the magnetic field produced there in the uh, by the uh, current carrying coil thank you